I go back and forth on this question quite a bit because it feels very main idea, whole passage kind of question, right? It feels like it's asked about everything. But according to the rules of the SAT, which I put in my book and I stand by, the whole passage questions are pretty much always the first question or two of a passage, and that includes the no, uh, the double passage. So this would violate the rule because we just had an evidence pair that came before this. And so looking at it a little more deeply, we can see that this isn't really about the main idea. This is asking about something a little bit more specific. It is something that is repeated often. But Women's effect on public life, that's a more narrow idea. It just so happens, though, that because this is the double passage, the, the passage one itself is pretty short. So this main idea that comes up in a few lines, it, it's, it's a lot of the lines of the passage. And so why does this matter for you? Well, I just don't like it when we think about questions as jumping all over the place and asking us as all different kinds of things. The SAT is a game that plays by certain rules, and they don't really break those rules that often. And once you realize that, then the reading section becomes much more uh, uh, conquerable. I guess, because you know what to expect. And so in this case, because it's not the first question in this passage, there was an evidence pair before this, I would expect to be able to find this specific answer in a line or two, even if there is not a line or two that's told to us, right? There's no line reference given in the question, but how would I find it? Well, I would kind of search around and look for this idea of women's effect in public life. And now remember, our answer to the first question was up here. This was number... Uh, 11 and 12 was up in the first paragraph. And sure enough, the beginning of the second paragraph starts to give us some relevant ideas, right? A man may act on society, right? Society, public life, it's all kind of part of the same thing there. Um, public debate, uh, he may urge his measures by a sense of shame, by fear and personal interest. He may coerce by the combination of public sentiment. He may drive by physical force, and he does not outstep the boundaries of his sphere. Okay, so he's acting, I don't know, acting upon public life. But all the power and all the consequence, con conquests that are lawful to woman are those only which appeal to the kindly, generous, peaceful, and benevolent principles. So... He's a, men can act, men can coerce, uh, debate, urge. So um, I like that word coerce, I'm going to write that. Drive by physical force. Yet women, kindly, generous, peaceful, benevolent, right? There's different kinds of words being used to describe women. But we haven't talked about their influence yet in public life. Let's keep reading. Woman is to win everything by peace and love, peace and love, by making herself so much respected, esteemed, and loved that to yield to her opinions and to gratify her wishes will be the free will offering of the heart. But this is to be all accomplished in the domestic and social circle. There, let every woman become so cultivated and refined in intellect that her taste and judgment will be respected, so benevolent in feeling and action that her motives will be reverenced, so unassuming and unambitious that collision and competition will be banished so gentle and easy to be entreated as that every heart will repose in her presence. Then the fathers, the husbands, and the sons will find an influence thrown around them to which they will yield not only willingly, but proudly. So influence, that word there, kind of comes back to the, the original question, woman's effect on public life. So she's affecting fathers, husbands, and sons, and she's doing it at home. So men are going out there and arguing. Women can only be nice and pretty and kind and smart at the home, and there they will be so respected that their opinions will somehow, I don't know, transfer to the people around them. I don't really get her point, but I get it enough to answer the question. So what we can also use the choices now to kind of better sort through what we just read. Uh, women's uh, effect in public life is largely overlooked because few men are interested in women's thoughts about politics. Well, there's an element of truth to this based on what she's saying, but there's a really strong word that bothers me here, and that's that's going to cause some problems for us in some of these choices. Few men are interested in women's thoughts about politics. We never get some sort of quantifying of these of men versus women and who thinks what. So anytime we see words that quantify things in answer choices, we need to be suspicious. It's not always wrong, but it's something that we need to prove. And so what's happening here is we just never really get this sense that a lot of men or very few men 
are going to be listening to what the women have to say. It's just never said. So we can't pick this choice, even if that part overlooked is kind of tempting. Um, let's keep going. Indirect, because women exert their influence within the home and family life. Well, the, the second part is absolutely true. She's going on about saying how it, at the, in the home she's allowed to act and women are allowed to act, and, and that's the point. That's the whole thing, is that they're not going out in the public and getting people to change their minds. They're doing it in the home, and this is an indirect way of influencing the public debate, right? They're not actually in Parliament debating or in Congress debating. I forget if this is a British person or an American. Um, probably American, abolitionism. Um, but they're doing it by kind of like being so awesome at home that their fathers and husbands and sons listen to them and then go out and do what they think. So this is a, a good choice. Let's keep going though. Let's make sure. Unnecessary, that's very strong because men are able to govern society themselves. Well, men do govern society themselves, but unnecessary is way strong for this passage. The whole point of this passage is that women have their very important role. It is a different role from than that of men, but it is still a very important role. And to say that that role is unnecessary is too negative. That is not the point of the passage here. Symbolic, because women tend to be more idealistic about politics than men are. Well, uh, more idealistic is almost wrong for the same reason that few men is wrong in choice A. It's kind of quantifying things. It's making a comparison about something that we just never really talk about. We don't know whether men or women are idealistic. We just, they don't get into anyone's specific views. They just talk about how those views are kind of transmitted. So, too specific, not in the passage. And B does match with these two paragraphs that we read. And we can see here, based on the kind of what I underlined, that a lot of these ideas are, are not just brought up once, they're repeated multiple times. And so with these no line reference questions, they behave kind of like these whole passage questions, where what we're being asked about very often is an idea that is repeated in a few different places, and it's a main idea of those specific paragraphs, whereas a whole passage question is kind of asking about the whole passage. But the process is the same. Main ideas are repeated ideas. We look for what kind of comes up again and again, and then we see if there's a choice that, that matches with that. And, and B is definitely that choice. It's a weird opinion that Catherine Beecher holds. Catherine Beecher. It's a very old-timey opinion about what women should be doing, and we cannot let that influence us. We have to answer based on her opinion, not upon our own. And so she thinks it's a good thing that women have this indirect influence. So she's talking positively about it. And that's why some of these other choices like overlooked and unnecessary and symbolic are also wrong. Those are a little too negative for the point she's trying to make. It's weird, but that's the challenge with the historical passage. You can't let your own opinions influence your answers.